want it, don't you, fat boy? Oh my god. Oh, guys, I'm going straight to hell. Hello, guys. My name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here and I hope you are excited for today's reaction. We are checking Dodgeball, a true undergrad story. Now, I've never played Dodgeball. I think this is more of an American thingy to play. But I did see movies and series where they did play and apparently you just take the ball and you throw it at people and if that person gets hit by this ball you're out or something similar to that um i'm excited to react to this please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not by now and as well if you want to be part of the patreons you have the link in the description below go for it check us out join our community there as well if you guys are ready i'm ready i'm a little bit um with allergies so if you hear me sneeze or do the um all the time i apologize but February for me, it's allergy season, it's a tree, I don't know, my doctors did it, don't really know what to do, it's just, you know, the, the usual. Alright, let's go. Tired of being out of shape and out of luck with the opposite sex? Yeah! Hello! Hello! I'm White Goodman, owner, operator, and founder of Globo Gym America Corp. Be stuck with what you got. Hey, Rory, looking good. Rory's arms are bigger than my legs. We understand it. Ugliness and fatness are genetic disorders, much like baldness or necrophilia. And that's where we come in. Did he just say that necrophilia equals being fat? On site cosmetic surgery, we can turn that Frankenstein you see in the mirror every morning into a Frankenstein. <laughs> of course, you'll still be you in a legal sense. How do I know? Well, I'm not only the founder of Globo Gym, I'm also a client. That's me. I mean, the ice cream though. I would smash some ice cream. Once I found it, Globo Gym. Dogo. That feels good. Tickle machine. <laughs> no. Crash, no. These are definitely like some of those 2000 early movies. Um, It's the same, I don't know, humor used. We're better than you. And we know it. Spare me. Drunken hussies three, backdoor patrol five. Backdoor patrol. Man, that car is uh, holding on dear life. Average Joe. Don't hold out on me. What's happening? Oh. It's just. I'm trying this new voicemail dating thing, you know? Right. And like, no one's even left me a message. This is like the early stages of Twitter. Uh, Twitter, Tinder, sorry. But how do you hear about these things? Huh? OSQ, Obscure Sports Quarterly. Started reading it in college, you know, for the chicks. Mm. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure the chicks love the guy who read this stuff. No one ever remembers what happened at last year's triumphs. The laughing stock of the school. He definitely did drop someone. Justin Redmond, ready and super psyched. Hey, Amber. Hi, Justin. Good luck. Zero, Martha Johnstone. Oh. I'm not wearing any panties. Liberty, oh. ready? Wow. <laughs> Don't worry so much about this Amber situation. It'll all work itself out in the end. You'll laugh at this one day. I'm laughing already. Oh, God. Who goes there? It's me. It's Peter. It's Peter. All right, Peter. It is about the matter of payment from your membership. Well, that's all right, Steve. Just pay me when you get the money. The Dread Pirate Steve be in no man's debt. I'll make a barter with you. Parley! Parley! Oh. It's actually not my birthday till next month, but terrific. I'm Catherine Beach with Hawthorne Stone. Oh. Your bank? Right. Thank you. I'm not a banker. I'm a lawyer. Really? And what kind of law are you involved in, Pretty Eyes? Oh, wow. Sexual harassment, mostly. But I also handle real estate and tax law, which is why I'm here. Not tax. It means you have 30 days to pay off the balance of your mortgage or you lose your gym. What's the damage? What I owe you? $50,000. Uh... I'm going to need to review all of your financial statements and assess any tax liabilities there may be. Financial records, don't you? Invoices, revenue reports, taxable income. Are you kidding me? I got a whole closet full. Here. Yeah. I bet with you that he's like me and I, he has like a thing for everything. Yeah. Problem is I've never really... Who would want to buy this place anyway? Wait, is this the guy 
of the year, yes. Uh, Mike Tyson. Right? Right? But without the tattoo? Look at the show! Enjoy the show! It's a bad time, I could always come back. Walk with me. Nice job, Susie. You call that a sit-up? Don't slack, Trevor. I'm watching you. Oh, my lord. You've got 30 days to make $50,000 for your gym. He's expanding. We're both professionals. Oh, really? Professionals? Last I heard, my gym makes money. Yours doesn't. Your gym is a skid mark on the underpants of society. This movie makes me want to go to gym. I earned this body and I built this temple out of nothing more than a little can-do attitude and some elbow grease. And yes, a large inheritance from my father, Earl Goodman. Self-made billionaire. In 30 days, I'll be bulldozing that shit heap you call a gym. And I can only hope that you and the mongrel race that comprise your membership are inside it when I do. Wow. Turn it up high, Reggie. Oh, is he getting a 10 with the... Okay. I looked somewhere I shouldn't have. 30 days to raise $50,000 or average shows as history. Oh, you don't have to raise your hands. It's more of an open form, but yeah, okay. Why don't we pay it off in Canadian dollars and... If that's a, a route that you're interested in traveling, it's 50,000 American. It would be 70,000, roughly. Very smart, Owen. Average Joe's is too important. Gordon, where do you go when your wife changes the locks? Average Joe's. Dwight, Owen, what are you guys going to do if Joe's goes under? What, work at the airport again? Say, well, I ain't working no airport again. <laughs> no. And I'll tell you, there's no way I can go back to working out of my high school. What does it say? Laugh at me there. Lock me in lockers. Make me clay. Kids nowadays mean, mean. I got it. I know how we can raise the money. How? Car wash. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Them right is better than yours. Them right is better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to try. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Them right. Okay. I mean, what are the chances? Same day, right across the street. <laughs> Relax, Justin. It's just a cutout. At Globo Gym, we're better than you, and we know it. But trust me here, if there was any way, any way in the world we could raise $50,000 in 30 days short of robbing a bank, I'd do it. We could sell blood and semen. God. What? I mean, semen should actually bring some good money, no? Looking at this Irish wake style. Yeah. <sighs> this poor guy. I'm gonna go put on the thong song and... We'll tear this place okay, apart. Okay, thong song. Wait, wait, Peter, Peter. I have uh, a curiosity. We could play dodgeball. There's a tournament in Las Vegas. I feel so dumb I didn't think about it before. And the best part, the best part, be it's open to any team that wins a regional qualifying match. They have a cash prize for the first place winner. How much? $50,000. Coincidence? I think we not. We're not going to get $50,000 for playing dodgeball. Why not? Because first of all, none of us even know how to play dodgeball. I do. You said anything we could do to raise the money, right? Well, this is that anything. I mean, the idea itself is not bad. And better to try something than nothing. You want it, don't you, fat boy? Oh my god. You want that, don't oh, you? guys, I'm going oh, straight to hell. Bite. One little bite won't hurt you. <laughs> Therapy shock with donuts. Oh, hello, Catherine. I didn't know you were dropping by. Asked me to come over. Did I? Are you reading the dictionary? Oh. You caught me. I like to break a mental sweat, too. Probably get back. That is a really interesting... Yeah, for sure. That's me taking the bull by the horns. The mustache is mustaching. But there's always room for one more squaw. So please, whatever you do, don't think of me as your boss. <laughs> oh, I don't. You know, I just don't want to get into a formal thing here. I'm white, you know? I'm white. W-H-I-T. You're what? Well, thanks, Mr. Goodman, but I'm contracted by the bank. I mean, they just assigned me to your account, that's all. I would love to see that pretty little bone structure of yours around here some more. There's no reason we need to be shackled by the strictures of the employee-employer relationship. Poor her. In fact, I actually prefer it over there. Really? You like it with those freaks over there in loser town, huh? Freaks? They're not freaks. They're people, just like you and me. <laughs> people? That is what I love about you, Kate. You've got a personality. Yeah, maybe you can find one in the dictionary as well. Extremely 
attractive. Oh yeah, you are definitely making her feel uncomfortable. Date. 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 Ah. I said we should date sometime. You know, socially. Are you okay? Mm. I'm fine. I just uh, threw up in my mouth a little bit. I don't date clients. I get it. Don't crap where you eat. Michelle, please escort Miss. Well, that was a fast uh, change. Teaching America's youth since 1938. Uber? I always find this type of videos very, very fascinating. How would you like to take a break from that fine lead-based paint and learn about dodgeball? Boy, would I! Yay! Wow! Where am I, mister? You're in a Chinese opium den, Timmy. This is where the sport of dodgeball was invented in Oh, really? Back then, the Chinamen threw severed human heads at each other. Okay, uh, the Chinese were uh, advanced. Dodgeball is played with six players on each team. Okay, learning, I'm learning. Once all the players on one team are eliminated, the opposing team wins. Wait to get the fellows together and play. Hang on a second there, sport. That is so cool, I am. Seven-time ADAA All-Star. Okay, is to... this is a, a, a professional dodgeballer. If you catch a ball that's thrown at you before it hits the ground, then the player who threw that ball is... Okay. Us. I love the decks Another explaining the rules. Gets to come back into the game. Uh -huh. But remember, dodgeball is a sport of violence, exclusion, and degradation. You're picking players in gym class. Pick the bigger, stronger kids for your team. Doesn't that way, mean you can all gang up on the weaker ones. I mean, if you're like smaller, you can be more <laughs> agile. Just remember the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. <laughs> dodge time too, because it's really important in dodgeballs. Okay, guys, any questions? Sign us up for the sub-regional qualifier tomorrow at the Waldorf Rec Center. Don't you have an office of your own? Yes, I do. For instance, do you realize you haven't collected any membership fees in 13 months? I'm curious, is it strictly apathy, or do you really not have a goal in life? Both. I found that if you have a goal, that you might not reach it. But if you don't have one, then you are never disappointed. And I gotta tell you, it feels... It feels lazy. Lazy. That makes sense in a really sad way. You wanna know what's sad? Six grown men playing dodgeball. That's the only way to play tennis. Why the Harry Potter glasses in the Dracula fangs? Dodgeball, eh? Well, if Peter Lafleur thinks a few red rubber balls can save his sorry gym, well, he's in for quite a surprise. Hey, Gord, your family's here. Huh? Where? Right over there. Great. Kids take after you, Gord. Yeah, well, she's our stepmother. I remarried three years ago. You know one of those internet mail order <laughs> things? How's that working out for you? Really great. Hey, honey. That's the international sign for uh, loser. So all we have to do is beat this team and we're in the Vegas Open, right? Yeah, yeah. That seems pretty simple. Troop 417. Christ. We're playing Boy Scouts. Not quite. Girl Scouts? <laughs> catch! You need to catch! <laughs> I'm not gonna say that you guys suck, but you guys suck. We have a bit of a problem here. Unfortunately for Troop 417, during the ADAA required random drug screening and a low-grade beaver tranquilizer. What? I'm afraid, by rule, your team must be disqualified. God damn you, Bernice! <laughs> by the power vested in me, Grammar Jamboree to be... Average Joe's Gym. Okay, average Joe's Jim, you better start learning how to actually play the game. It is obvious that you dig me. You can't stay away from me, I'm so stupid. You are a very dashing man. But you're not completely... A douche. Not completely what? Pathetic. And introduce you to the team that will be winning the Las Vegas International Dodgeball Open. My team. Blade. Laser. Blade, laser? Blazer. Okay, blazer. Michelle. Michelle. Our last player. Meet Fran Stalinaskovich Davidovitsky. No! In her home country of Romanovia, 
dodgeball is the national sport. Where Romanovia? Show them, Fran. We are the Globo Gym Purple Cobras, and we will, we will rock you. That guy might really be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you should quit now and save yourself the embarrassment of losing with these losers in Las Vegas, Lafleur. I like his family name, Lafleur. But we'll see you at the tournament. Oh, and Lafleur, best bring your bib. Oh, because it's gonna get messy. It did get messy. I cannot wait to see the montage with them training. That was the worst damn display of dodgeball I've seen in forty years. Okay. Crazy guy. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. The name's Patches O'Hulahan. Oh, the... I'm your new coach. Guy with the the best one. The guy from the Dutch movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said he wants to coach us. But he's not weird or anything, is he? No. No, he's totally normal. 100% normal. He just misses the flag in the wind in the back. I love the smell of queef in the morning. What's a queef? You're gonna learn to be true dodgeballers. Then you've got to learn the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Queer bait, go ahead. Me or... Queer bait. Yeah, um, shouldn't we like learn by dodging balls that are thrown at us or... That's what this sack of wrenches is for. Well, I guess if you're dodging a wrench, you're gonna be dodging a ball. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh. I wrote the script. I just put all the water on my desk. Any other questions? Uh, Patches, oh. are you sure that this is completely necessary? Uh, you're gonna be dodging, for sure. Necessary for me to drink my own urine? No. But I do it anyway because it's sterile and I like the taste. Your sure, urine might be tasting amazing. Floor, you got to learn to do the dance in the dark. Yeah, put that on. There's the flag! Show time! <laughs> oh no, I like the throwing of the wrench. A catcher. Perfect. You can drive the ball. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay, I'm yeah. fine. Oh, man. Wake up, Smithy. This guy is throwing good, huh? You couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. You gotta get angry. Angry. Mean. That's the only way you can play. Mean and angry. I guess I'm not really an angry person. <laughs> Are you angry now? Uh, no, but he's surely hurt. Uh oh. Hello. Will help. Ah. There you have it. Your shooter. Eight years of softball. All I know is that dyke can play. I feel like a uh, friend just got competition. Come on, Kate. Time to put your mouth where our balls are. Sorry, I can't. I'm under contract. It would be a conflict of interest. Sauce it up. Oh, boy, is my mouth watering. You're gonna want to put a big dollar for that tangy red. This is me, guys. Use the cheese to shove it to the end. I don't do that. I don't do that, though. <laughs> I definitely do not do that. We're getting better. Yes, I can see that, Michelle. But rest assured, Michelle, there's no resistance when White Goodman puts on his shiny shoe. Yeah, you're v Oh, I like this song. Dum, 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 dum. Who is it? It's White. Surprise. Yay. What are you doing here? I got some great news. Sit down. You're fired. I called up the bank and told them that you were stealing and drinking on the job. Why would you do that? I'm here to begin my courtship with you, Kate. You fired me so I'd date you? You are a crazy little man. For sure. I know you've been hiding some feelings for me. Oh, oh yeah. Nausea. No, if you don't get off my porch in two seconds, you're going to know exactly <gasps> how that feels. Get off my porch line. Well, that can be naughty, too. Punch me in the nose. 
Ooh, he put the move on. You need some help leaving, White? I believe she asked you to leave. Gone. Gonzo. Tschüss. Arrivederci. Goodbye. I'll let you have your little moment on the floor. Because after this tournament, your gym, your life, and your gal. Delusions. Oh, oh, you don't get to touch me. Ever. Oh, my God. Okay, Stacy. Do it again. It is over between us, Kate. Ah. Why did I thought her name was Stacy? Well, at least that wasn't weird. Yeah. Do I smell cookies? Hey. I like unicorns. Like? No, you're obsessed. I know you said no to joining the team, but I'd like you to reconsider as a personal favor to me. There's also this. Oh, okay, what's this? A coupon for one free back rub from Peter LaFleur. I would love a back rub. I just want to see the look on White Goodman's face when we win that tournament. Let's go, Kate. I don't know why I thought it was Stacy for some reason. Ball open here on ESPN 8. I'm not even surprised if this is actually like a real sport. D99. If it's almost a sport, we've got it here. If it's almost a sport. We're coming to you live from the Las Vegas University Learning Annex. My name is Cotton McKnight, and with me, as always, is my partner in crime. Means four wins is going to get you in the final match, with that fifth win getting you the 50K that everyone's chasing. Cotton! Who names their kid Cotton? Dyslexia? Did they just say Hasselpuff? What does the dyslexia players have to do with dodgeball? I figured a real dodgeball team needs real dodgeball uniforms. And so I threw out those old ratty ones and designed these myself. I'm scared. I hope everything fits. <laughs> Wait, this isn't what I ordered. Playing what we've got on, right? No, we can't. ADAA rules require we wear matching uniforms. Ladies, ladies, we gotta get on the corner. We're gonna forfeit the game. Okay. Ew. Man, I miss this 2000s music. Unknown challengers, a regional qualifying team. Average Joe. Oh my sweet Jesus. Hey asshole, you guys suck. You didn't Thank even you. see them, I... Daddy. Oh my God. All here, and um, <laughs> we are ready to play. Okay. <laughs> From the island of oh, Lesbos. Oh, clean it! You're out. Dodge, duck, nip, dodge, dodge. I just. Oh my God. It doesn't look up to snuff. Oh, oh you went the over the line. Like oh, good oh wow! <laughs> Just two players left for oh shit! It's all up to the only player on a Y chromosome. Kate Beach. Y chromosome. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> all right, KD. The only man out there. <laughs> the only man out there. <laughs> oh, she gets. Let's go, Everett Jones. Let. <laughs> the uniforms. You are all pigs. You must be daddy. What the hell? That guy's a dickhead. Yeah, it's a cobra. You want to see me, Patches? You're a natural leader, LeFleur. Hey, as for you, can't accept this patches. You're a hell of a player, Peter. You earned it. I've got some hookers in my room. What do you say we go celebrate my treat? All right. No, thanks. I, I think I'll just stick with the scarf here, but thank you, though. Suit yourself, queer. He does love this word, queer. He does love it. Oh, sorry. Justin? Amber? Jeez Louise, what are you doing here? We're here for the National Cheerling Championships. Let's go cheer! What are you doing here? I'm in the dodgeball tournament. Okay, it was nice to see you. Hey, good luck tomorrow. And also you, you look healthy. What? Don't worry about that guy, Justin. He's a total jerk. Definitely asshole. He'll probably fall off the roller coaster and break every bone in his body. All right. Ever show's ready. Yes. Lumberjack's ready. 
Something. Lily Pushon. Oh oh oh. might be looking past average Joe's doing a little more dancing than Dodge Bowling. There, good Dodgers. Great catch. The floor wheels and fire. They're getting there, guys, huh? Flying, flying good. Over average Joe's today. It's the winner of this match goes on to face Globo Jim in the finals. And right now, it's oh, right in the Ouch Town population. You, bro. Ouch Town. Their final two players. Peter LaFleur can't hold on. He's got to sit down. Oh like oh! Only shot is for you to get angry. You have to get angry now. Tell him that the L stands for loser. And goodbye. Oh oh! He's angry. He's angry. He's like a chihuahua. Woof 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 woof. Oh shit. He got angry, guys. Strategy calculated. Tomorrow we're gonna pecker slap those Globo Jim bastards. You really think we can beat Globo Jim? As long as we got patches, we got a shot. I guess we don't have patches. Maybe you should go say something to the guys. They don't really make a. Sorry, your dodgeball coach just got crushed by two tons of irony Hallmark card. He went down the Irish way. Uh, I'm so oh, funny. Near la biblioteca, Pedro. We're opening a new Globo gym in Mexico City. I've been boning up on my Spanish. Michelle was having some digestive problems. I hope you don't mind. Michelle shitted in your toilet. I give you a hundred thousand dollars. You sign over the deed to your gym. Period. I mean, is that a bad deal? You really think you can come in here and buy me out, White? You're a lot dumber than I thought. I mean, he could theoretically win 150k. Looking to you to solve their every problem. Uh-oh, he's getting in your head, Peter. And I know you know that I know you. And I know that you know that you know. That you know that I know that I know that you know. Take the money. Invested in something. I mean, is it that bad of a deal? I would take it. I'll be honest. Because how expensive is his gym property, though? What's the plan? Yeah. What do you guys want from me here? I don't have a plan for you. We're going to play Globo Gym tomorrow, and we're probably going to lose. Wow. The sooner you guys get that through your head, the easier this whole thing's going to be. Jesus. Nice. He didn't mean that. He definitely did mean that. Alright, where are you headed? Peter. You are not a pop. Oh, he did get into his head. He's gonna go in a romance. Arr. Excuse me, miss. I was wondering if You're the one who stares at me. I would I have called her Helga. Helga seems to be a good name. Fran, not so much. Oh, watch it, freak. I mean, calling someone in Las Vegas a freak? Go back to Treasure Island! I hope you have diarrhea. A lot of it. Every day. For the rest of your life. Peter? Peter. Come on, everybody headed down. Maybe he took the money? What happens on a double thumb? Oh, on any double fault, you go to a sudden death elimination. It's continuation rule 113D. <gasps> Justin! <gasps> Derek fell off the roller coaster and broke every bone in his body. He can't compete. <laughs> Without the center cue beat, we can't do our routine. You gotta do it. What? 
I can't. I mean, I have the dodgeball championships at noon. Oh, you'll be back in time. I promise. Said no one ever. Hey, look, I don't know why Peter left, but we can do this without him. Mm. We're just gonna have to figure it out. Owen, you'll have to play. Great, great, but we'll still be two players short. We're still missing the teenage love puppy and Steve the Pirate. Who's Steve the Pirate? <laughs> the only guy on our team who dresses like a pirate. There's a guy on our team dressed... Pro poor Owen, he's so out of it. I love cheerleader movings. Hey, hey, oh, hi, hi. Yay! It was perfect. You were perfect. Oh, God, I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you going to stay for the trophy? Bye, Ember. Let's go, doggy. Whoa. Okay. All right. Da na 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 na. Aren't you Peter Lafleur? Lance Armstrong? Yeah, that's me. No, but I'm a big fan of yours. Really? Yeah, I've been watching the dodgeball tournament on the Ocho. I think you better hurry up or you're gonna be late. Yeah, you go. I decided to quit. Lance. You know, once I was thinking about quitting when I was diagnosed with brain, lung, and testicular cancer all at the same time. But with the love and support of my friends and family, I got back on the bike and I won the Tour de France five times in a row. But I'm sure you have a good reason to quit. Yeah, definitely. Great reason. Cancer be damned, right? Well, I guess if a person never quit when the going got tough, they wouldn't have anything to regret for the rest of their life. But good luck to you, Peter. I'm sure this decision won't haunt you forever. For sure. We'll bring you lots of joy. Excuse me. Sorry I'm late. You won't believe what just happened to me, though. Hey, guys, what's up? You're just in time to help us forfeit. You're only a few. There are only five. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power vested in me by our governing body, the American Dodgeball Association of America. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to declare the winner of this year's Las Vegas International Tournament to be... Is that a lollipop? Is he here? Peter Lafleur. Hey guys, you're ready to play, Your Honor. Too late, Lafleur. Your lovable band of losers already forfeited. That's not true. The tournament committee can overturn the chancellor's decision. That's you, sir, by a two-thirds vote. No, well, he's right. What? He's right. Yes. Oh, it's a bio. It's a. Give him the chapter lollipop. Listen. Let them play. Down. Let them play. This needs two yes votes to play. There's our second judge votes. Thank you for the column of our final judge. I know this. Chuck Norris. Thank, Thank you, Peter. Prepare to be humiliated on cable television. I said we go out there, we let it all hang loose, try to have some fun. It's only dodgeball, right? <laughs> Put him in. One, two, three, go! Let's go hell, guys, well. Dodgeball! And the championship match is underway. Ooh, quick elimination there for Kate V. That was fast. <laughs> Mike Goodman's hit. The ball is up for grabs, and... It's gone. That's a catch. Still playing hard. It's Michelle. All right. <laughs> Valentine's Day today, guys. Hi. You're out. Mike Goodman with a catch. George Viv goes out. You're Michelle Jones in. comes back Ooh. in. Youngest member. He's got to make a play All here. All right. Oh, word, Cotton. I said, let's go. Wow! I love you. Joni loves Chachi. What a sport! True sport, true athletic. Look out! The floor goes down. He's a sitting duck. She took a hit for him. If that's not love. Moment as we've seen on the dodgeball court all turning. <gasps> Fault. The cheap shot. Yeah. Kick his ass. I would have said something like throw the ball in his balls, but you do you, girl. Looks like it's gonna be a two-on-one. Dodgeball. It's a cat and mouse game, folks. Peter Lafleur has got away for his shot. Out. He gets the elimination. Dodge. Oh, no elimination. Double what? fault. Double fault. You stepped over the line on the throw. That's what you get. 
What the hell is sudden death? Yeah. Double needs new shorts. I like this guy. <laughs> Only striking an opposing player eliminates him. Catching the ball does nothing. Okay. Both feet must remain in the triangle at all times. Stay in the triangle. Oh, right. Yeah. You look awful fat in those pants. <gasps> Players to your positions. Oh, insulting his butt cheeks. This sport doesn't build character, it reveals it. F and A, Cotton, F and A. <laughs> I feel like he's the young generation Z. Remember your training and trust your in Yes, my the Master Yoda. Oh, he's gonna put it on his forehead, right? What the hell is he doing? He's making the game harder. The floor is actually blindfolded himself. He's gonna yeah, be you one with the ball. You see very well, Cotton. <laughs> oh. oh, I love that. Dodgeball! <gasps> oh. I always knew you were weak. Air Use the senses. Dodge. Solid. Solid. on average joe i actually feel like average joe is a great name for a gym you signed your gym over to me last night remember you lost i won peter is that true he won 150k i feel like that's a win it's true i sold average joe's to white and it's also true that money won is a lot sweeter than money earned here are your winnings, Mr. LaFleur. Congratulations. Right on time. I appreciate it. Thank you, boy. Gosh, I totally forgot to tell you. I took the $100,000 bribe that you gave me last night, and I put it on us to win. We were going off at 50 to 1. Five million dollars. Peter, are you kidding me? Peter is a rich preach right now. What? I can't make you sell average Joe's back to me, so I guess I'll just take your advice and invest in something. The controlling stake of Globo Gym. <laughs> it's preposterous. I'd never allow it. Globo Gym is a publicly traded company. There is nothing you can do about it. So I would control Globo Gym and everything that Globo Gym owns, which, as of last night, is average Joe's. Every yeah. Yeah. Full circle. He's continually saying le fleur, le, le, le. It's la, la fleur, la fleur. Steve oh, the pirate. Steve! I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you said. I'm not really a pirate. Oh, hey, Steve, you cleaned uh, up. Oh, Steve. God. You're not a pirate. Who the hell am I going to split all that very treasure with? God. You see how much a person can be changed by a haircut? Hey, you. Hi, you five million hey, you. rich dodgeball champion. Joyce? Are amazing. I told you she was a lesbian. I'm bisexual. Oh, snap! And I'm here to tell you, you're perfect just the way you are. But if you feel like losing a few pounds, getting healthier, and making some good friends in the process, then Joe's the place for you. Oh, that's nice. I would join that gym. Chuck Norris. I honestly liked the the introduction of the gym of the average Joe gym because I feel like gym should be like that. You know, it should be as well a community. You know, you go somewhere, you make friends, you become healthier. Sport is a really, really big thing in our life and it should be. Guys, make sure you're healthy and make sure you are taking care of yourself. Anyway, the movie was quite a good fun. Not, not, not exactly bad, bad, but a good watch. Like, one of those movies that you watch, turn off brain and enjoy, relax on it. It's a good underdog story as well. I mean, just by the title, you could already like kind of predict what the movie is going to be about. But thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a, 
a member in our um, community in Patreon as well. Just a reminder, this movie comes after a supporter's request. I have a special tier where once a month you can requ request one movie. This is one of those cases. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I hope it brought you some fun. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.